Boy, you said it, Cheney. Where did you dig up that old fossil? Oh, this? I found this on the set of a new movie being filmed at Universal. Does anyone want it? Say, Raul, uh, what do you think Jamie wants to talk to us about? Huh? Can't you ever stop yapping? I'm trying to see if TNT is still casting for that new TV movie, Damage Control. Damage Control? Weren't you already in a TV movie called Damage Control? It's a remake. Huh. Oh. Guys! Hey, babe! Smooches. <laughs> well, it's, it's been so long. How have you been? Fine. Peaches. <laughs> and you? Oh, spectacular, Connie, honey. In fact, the other day I was even at the premiere of the new Harry Potter movie at Grauman's Chinese Theater and... So, what did you want to see us about, Jamie? I'm meeting with Daniel Baldwin in 20. Yeah, and I'm meeting Stephen Baldwin in 15. <laughs> Stephen. Well, actually, guys, I have some great news. It turns out that the head of a major studio wants to turn my hit show, Creepy Cinema, into a full-length feature film. He wants all of you to be in it. Hmm. I don't know. I should probably check my fan blogs first. Yeah, and I would have to turn down an offer to use my voice for Cliff Notes books on tape. Oh, come on, guys. This would actually be a chance for us to work on something together again. Like I said before, it's an actual movie movie. It'll be catered. Who would I play? You would play you. And who would I play? You would play you. <laughs> and you would play you, Chaney, honey, and I would play me. Get it? So you're playing me? I thought Chaney was playing you, and you were playing me. <laughs> so who would you play? <laughs> But you, but you would play, play you, and you? I would play me, but who's going to play you? Stephen Baldwin would not play me. This may take a while. Back to the movie. If anyone but me plays me, they're awful. So, Jamie, you said earlier that this would be an accurate portrayal of our lives at the cemetery? Sure thing, Raul. My agents assured me that the creepy cinema motion picture would be handled with the utmost authenticity. In fact, here they come now. Jamie, our favorite black tulip. You made it. I'm so happy. Shock, Rusty, we were just talking about you. Nothing but bad things, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sits? Just because we're bad. Right. Anyway, Connie, Chaney, Raul, and myself, we're all here, so when do we get to see the set? What do you mean, Buttercup? You're standing in it. Uh, standing in what? Standing in what? The set, of course. See the big green thing behind you? Well, what about it? Hit it, Wayne! It's the latest thing. See, normally, a studio would spend mucho dinero building a recreation of the graveyard, but now... Wait, wait, wait! Can I tell her? I wish you would. Now the graveyard comes to you through the magic of computer technology! It's computer technology. animation! Technology. 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 I'm just saying take oh, afterwards. That's what I thought. You mean we're gonna be filmed in front of this cheap screen thingy? Well, yeah, what's the difference? Well, I thought this was going to be an authentic recreation of my life at the cemetery. You can't expect to catch lightning in a bottle in front of a blank wall. Jamie, babe, this is Hollywood. This is the city lights. I thought that was Paris. No. This is Paris. Jamie, it's all an illusion here. Besides, we didn't tell you the best part yet. Wait, wait, wait. Can I tell her? Own it, man. Studio was able to strike product placement deal with the major soda water corporation. So we've worked into the script that ever so often you and your graveyard friends will drink Mr. Pepco soda water putting the pep back in Mr. Huh? Eh? Huh? Look at that. What? We can't do that. Well, if you don't like that particular soda water, Mr. Pepco has three other flavors to choose from vanilla, lime, and mocha. That's right. Mocha. That's not the issue. I can't wholeheartedly let my show slash movie succumb to commercialism. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. A year supply of Mr. Pepco products. No! Fine, but I'm afraid if you don't comply to the terms set by the head of studio, you may be sued for breach of contract.
That was the only copy, wasn't it? Yeah. Y'all know what this means, don't y'all? Yeah. No food. Well, cuties, I suppose you all saw what happened to the girl in the movie when she went to Hollywood. So I guess I must leave before this town gets the best of me as well. What's that? Am I going back to the old cemetery, you ask? How can I? All of my friends probably hate me for walking out on them. So I decided to take a one-way bus trip from Los Angeles to my hometown of Transylvania. At least there I fit in. All aboard, Los Angeles to Transylvania, one way. Hope someone saved me a seat, darlings. Something. The cemetery! We stopped right in front of the cemetery. But how? Jamie! Guys! Guys, it's you! But where's Connie? And what did the bus hit to make it stop? Maybe this will answer both of your questions. Man, that never happened to me once when I protested the transit system in the 60s. Why did you all keep me from leaving? I figured you guys would be angry at me for walking out on you. Maybe she can tell you. Would you stop doing that, Raul? Hmm. Jenkins! Surprise again, bitches. Oh, and you, Jamie. But I don't understand. Well then understand this. This man, Jenkins, is the head of the studio. The head? Get it? Yeah, Rusty. They get it. All right. You mean... That is absolutely right, my dear. After I left America to become a servant at Buckingham Palace, Her Majesty sent me back to this godforsaken country to be a big-time movie producer in Hollywood. And we work for him. See, he's the one that originally sent us to the cemetery to discover you. You see how everything comes full circle, Jamie? And you greenlit the movie based on my love? Correct, my love. And you passed the test. Test? What test? You see, he's the one that set up the whole movie to be one long commercial. He wanted to see how committed you were to keeping your integrity intact. You see how everything comes full circle? So that means... Now I get to make a movie any way you want. See how everything comes full circle? Shut up, Rusty. All right, three things. First, I'm changing my name back to Jamie Deadly. And number two, we're filming it right here in the cemetery. And number three, no product placements. <laughs> right, Cheney. And it's gonna be catered. Deal? Deal. Well, sweeties, it looks like everything I've always wanted is finally here. I'm now what I always wanted to be, the most glamorous movie star slash graveyard goddess. But in a way, I've always had what I've wanted. I have the best friends a girl could ask for, and I live in the best darn cemetery in the world. But who am I kidding? I'm a star. Save my seat, darling. Hello, 
darlings, and I am Miss Deadly. Welcome to Deadly Cinema. This is a show unlike any you've seen before. Well, actually, it's a show comprised of bits and pieces of shows you've seen before, but I'd say that's good enough, wouldn't you?